the dust from the rutted and almost impassable road leading to one of Ghana's biggest mental health facilities presents a daily nightmare here. Everywhere in this hospital has been battered by dust. The floors, computers and even baby coats have been covered in dust. All our bases are brown now. They are white, but because of the dust, we don't lay them on. So unless we have a client, then we lay them. Uh, uh, the place is the whole place is dusty. We the uh, staff here, we always report there. It's either you are having chest pain, it's either you are having cold or the respiratory tract infection. If you go to OPD right now, it's stopping. According to doctors, healthy full-term babies can usually go home from the hospital sometime between 24 and 48 hours after birth. But here at Pantine, nurses are forced to discharge the babies within the first six hours after delivery. If you have a baby here, a one-day-old baby, a newborn here, and all this dust, it will cause them a respiratory infections. We normally discharge them after six hours if everything is okay. Doris Darko had a rough ride to this facility when her water broke this morning. I really suffered. It wasn't an easy ride to the hospital this morning. I couldn't even open my mouth to take in air because the entire road is so dusty. This is the road at the Pantine Hospital and guess what? All this dust is going to one place very very close to the maternity block here at the Pantine Hospital where Madame Doris is sleeping with her newly born baby. Baby that was born just about five to six hours ago. She delivered at 8 30 a.m. and already she's getting ready to leave the facility with her new born baby Abena. This really disturbs Doris. I was even complaining because they want to discharge me this early. What if I get home and realize my child is not fully fit? I would have to travel through this dust again. There have been efforts in the past to get the roads fixed. But according to director for the Pantone Hospital, Dr. Frank Benin, the contractor working on the project has not been on the site for a few months now. We have. Uh, I must say that urban roads have been good to us in the past. Uh, our internal road network wasn't meant to be part of the uh, original work that is ongoing. Um, we discussed with them and they were flexible enough to um, add our internal road network to it. Since we saw that the work has stopped, we've tried reaching them to find out I mean, what is going on. And they keep telling us it will be done this year. So uh, why it hasn't been done, we haven't been told. But at least uh, we continue to get the assurance that something will be done about it. The contractor who started it, yes, we've engaged them. They used to be around here. They had their vehicles at the gate, and they have the chippings at the entrance as well. And we engage them, and they keep telling us uh, uh, they are still engaging government, and then the work will be done. But how to the reason why uh, the works have stopped, I don't know. For as long as the roads at Pantone Hospital remains dusty and untarred, healthcare delivery of the facility will continue to take a big hit. Nancy MFA Jadosi. Join us.